This is a men's channel with men's content. I am your host, Jeremy Hill, The Gentleman Rogue. If you are easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and get into the subject matter. Modern women, black women in particular, in my most humble opinion, are not faithful. They are not loyal. They're, they are not committed. For years, black women have said that black men have a fear of commitment. But according to the American Sociological Association statistics that we are already familiar with, but let's quote them anyway, over 70% of all divorces are initiated by women. And also according to that same source that I quoted from, if these women are college educated, then that number jumps up to an astounding 90%. So the numbers say it is the women that have a fear of commitment. It is the women that break up happy homes. It is the women that turn their backs on the family. The numbers say it. Not me, not my opinion, not no one else's. The numbers says that. And that's what's important. The statistics says that. So, women do not understand what commitment is. Women tend to think that commitment is attached to emotion. Commitment operates outside of the perimeters of emotion. For example, an athlete like Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, Mike Tyson, they had to go to the gym over and over again, but then there's going to be days where they feel they don't want to go. This is where commitment kick in, because commitment is the ability to give yourself an order and to fulfill that order regardless of what's going on. If they did not go to the gym just because they didn't feel like it, they would not have been great at what it was that they did. Commitment operates outside of emotions. That's how we have to look at things. Now, a lot of you don't know this about myself, but I am an MMA practitioner. I have sport. I have um, helped people get into the cage, the octagon, or whatnot. But I have Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu underneath my belt, Muay Thai, and I also have boxing underneath my belt. Okay? The thing is, when you are committed, passion can drive you to become committed, but emotion will not carry you. So a lot of women, if they're not feeling emotionally attached to you when they take these so-called marriage vows they will abandon them women should not be taking marriage vows when they say for better or for worse because they have no understanding what commitment is a vow is a commitment do you understand what i'm saying a lot of women will turn their backs on you because they are not loyal they are not faithful they will believe that the grass is greener on the other side when in actuality it may not be they will leave you because they're not happy. They will leave you because they are bored. They will leave you not because you're whooping on them, just because they are not getting their way. If they're not getting their way, they're going to leave you. If they're not able to control you, manipulate you, have you to follow them, like a little puppy dog does his master, then they will leave you because they don't understand commitment. They think commitment means Commitment means to put the man in a position of slavery. If that man does not do what I say, then I'm not going to feel happy, so therefore I'm going to leave. Now, women have no excuse for this. Women should stay in the relationship even if the man commits adultery. Even if he cheats on her, she should stay in the relationship if she has children. If there are children in that um, family, that she, if there's children that she has given that man, then she needs to put herself on the back burner and he needs to put himself on the back burner so that those children can have the opportunity of being raised in a two-parent home. The children come first. You see, every, re every relationship that you have will minimalize you. And the problem is with women, they want to be number one. They want to be in the forefront. They don't ever want to be minimalized. You have to be a person who minimalizes themselves in a relationship because there's two people involved so you can't just be all about you you also have to be about the next person and if you have children you have to be about the children and the next person you have to understand that marriage is a business okay marriage is a business uh, he's the um the ceo you are the coo or the cfo whatever it is you're the person that reports to him he's the president he's the vice president you have children and women don't care Women will let them children be raised in a single parent household if she gets full custody. You get what I'm saying? But she doesn't care about how it affects them. All she cares about how she feels about whatever that man did to her. That's not commitment. You get what I'm saying? If the man has cheated on you, forgive him, suck it up, whatever it is if you got children. Women will leave not because of children, but they'll leave because the money ain't right. That's not commitment. 
Don't ever fix your lips to say that I'm going to commit myself to a man or commit myself in marriage if you're not willing to weather the storm. This is why I say women are not loyal. Women are opportunists. They are still looking for the next best thing. There are women who are married who are still looking for the next best thing. They're looking for the next best man. You get what I'm saying? Women do not understand the word commitment. When you commit something, it's an old saying that old folks used to say. They said that the um, when it comes to breakfast that you and I eat, it said that the chicken gave a part of, the uh, contributed to the uh, breakfast, but the pig was committed. You get what I'm saying? The bacon. He gave his life so that you can eat for breakfast. Women need to have that type of mentality. When you say that this is my man, this is my fiance, this is my husband, you are now committed, especially if you take time to go get married, especially if you take time to walk down the aisle with this man, you pay for all this money for a wedding just to end up in a divorce because somebody don't want to be committed. Now, according to the numbers, it's the women who leave all the time. All they seem to be committed to is a hustle. They get a man who has something going on, who may have some good, considerable resources, stay with that man for a little bit, maybe have a child, divorce that man, and take the money, half the money that he worked hard for. She didn't, most times, women don't bring a whole lot to the relationship when a man married her. There are some women, some exceptions, that may, um, they may already be living good or whatever like that. But for the most part, it's the men that have the most resources. And she seemed to be more committed to the hustle, seemed to be more committed to the divorce or divorcing more than she is to um, being committed to the marriage. Women don't take vows seriously. Women don't take promises seriously. Women don't take commitment seriously. So I'm so tired of hearing women saying it's the men who don't want to commit. Most men want to be married. Most men of my color, of any race, most men want to marry within their own racial demographic, period. But it's the women, the Americanized, modern day black woman who is not committed to anything except themselves. Today's modern day black woman is selfish. That's the only one that they are committed to. They are only committed to themselves. They are committed to education. They are committed to their careers. They are committed to their jobs. They're committed to everything else but you. And if they have children by another man, they will commit to that child before they commit to the new man who will be foolish enough to become the stepfather. Even if you come in as a stepfather to try to take care of another man's child or other men's children, you are just something she's using to help that child's life be better. You are just increasing the quality of life between her and her children or between her and that child that she has had from other men. Women are committed to themselves. Women are only thinking about themselves. Women only want to come up on themselves. You get what I'm saying? They don't want your help. The only time they will accept your help is if it's in the best interest of her. Women do not want to be committed to you. Women are failing at commitment. This is why marriages, people are getting married at a lower rate and why divorces are getting going up skyrocketing at a higher rate because women are not committed to men. They do not want to commit to no one, okay? So remember this, gentlemen, before you um, get a girlfriend and say she's committed to me, she'll be there for me to thick and thin. Don't believe that, man. You gotta test her, and even after you test her, even after you put her through things to see if she actually has real commitment towards you, you still can't trust it. Because women attach emotion to commitment. As soon as she's not feeling you, as soon as she feels she's not happy, no matter what she says she's going to do for you, no matter how she says she love you, no matter how much she says she'll be committed to you, she will skip town, Jack. She will leave you. All right, if you hear something in this video that makes sense to you, please do me a favor, hit the um, like button. And